Mr. McKay, would you please state your full name and spell your last name for the record? Uh, Andrew McKay, M-C-K-A-Y. And have you written, uh, written a prepared statement for today's purposes? Yes. You may feel free to read that. Good morning. Uh, we all know on May 16, 2018, it was a bad day. Uh, it could have been a much worse day um, if shots had landed um, on flesh instead of structure. We'd all, it would be a, a much different day today. Um, while there were no physical victims um, outside of, of the shooter, there, there were um, victims. Uh, my daughter being one of them um, at, the, at the time, she was six years old. I'm in kindergarten and she had to hear that her dad was shot at. Um, in that, she's been in therapy since um, and she will probably be in therapy the rest of her life dealing with anxieties um, and other things uh, that go along with, with the events of that day. Um, uh, that's, I mean, something she's going to carry her life. Um, for me, uh, I have an increased um, situ situational awareness. Um, not scared to go out in the public. I'm not scared of that. But when I go into a, a room or a facility or whatever, I am, I'm scanning it, making sure I know where exits are if needed or what potential threats or whatever could be there. Um, just so I can, you know, look out, take my wife and daughter um, when we're out in public or whoever I'm with, um, and just make sure that I'm, I'm prepared. In the, in the case of a, you know, a worst case scenario takes place. Um, <clears throat> and, then, and then lastly, <clears throat> this is something I've struggled with since it, since it happened, but I, I once heard a preacher say that you need to, you can hate the sin, but you've got to love the sinner. Um, so I'm going to, before everybody here, including you, uh, Matthew, I, I forgive you as a person. Uh, I, hold, I don't hold any grudge against you as a human. Um, however, I'm not excusing the, the decisions that led to your actions that day. Um, I think you need to be held accountable to whatever um, the judge decides today. Um, but at the end of that, my prayer for you will be that whatever sentence term you serve, at the end of that, you will find, or during that, you will find whatever peace, whatever it is you need, that when you are released, you can, you can regain, rejoin society and be a positive and, uh, and uplifting member of whatever community you get to live in when that day comes. Thank, Thank you, Mr. McKay. You may step down.